Well, hello. I am your host. My name is Simone Crockett, and I am here with Pierre Karniewski. Thank you for coming out on your busy schedule. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, anytime. So you are here because you are the Marketing Communications and Managing Director of Junior Achievement. Can you tell me a little bit more about Junior Achievement and your position with them? Yes. So I just recently started there back in May. And in the marketing role, I'm responsible for just letting people know everything that we do. So JA provides free programs through stu for students um, ages 5 to 18, so kindergarten through 12th grade. And we teach everything on financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and work readiness. Awesome. Now, where are you guys located? So we are located on Penn State Barron's campus, so right behind the Logan Carriage House. We are located right there, and we work all over Erie County as well as several other surrounding counties as well. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about how the program is free? Is it free for just the students, for schools? Yeah, so when a school is interested in getting a junior achievement programming, they simply reach out to our offices and they work with Carla Hart. She's the education program manager. So they will work with her on what they're interested in learning more about. So if they want to do more entrepreneurial topics, she'll pick the programs that fit that topic. But if it's work readiness, she'll pick another program that'll fit more of those needs. And from there, all they have to do is coordinate with a volunteer to schedule and they come in and do the programming. And it's always free for all schools to have JA programs. I just found out that in April, you guys got your, all of your state requirements for the program. So can you tell me a little bit more about that? It's a very big deal for the organization. So in Pennsylvania, there is a state mandate where all students have to go through a work readiness component and also a financial literacy component. So all of JA's programming is backed by that and is fully funded and required by the state. So we meet those needs for all the schools as well. So no teacher has to take time to create their own lesson plans, they can simply reach out to their local right. JA and schedule with us. Right, and that's super incredible because it really is hard to get you know that kind of thing involved into the school as being just a teacher, but nice yes. that you guys can come in and do it for them and help them out a little bit. I know, we recognize that teachers do so much more than just sit with students and work on their simple things. There's a lot more that goes into their job and that's something that we teach in JA too, all the different roles that a community you know, plays in, right. whether you're a teacher, a doctor, you work at a bank, anything like that. So we right. teach why all of that is important to a community. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, you, how long have you guys been around for as a nonprofit? This year, 2019, is actually our centennial. So we just turned 100. Wow, that's incredible. I know a lot of nonprofits can't say that. So we have been through the Great Depression. We right, have, exactly. We <laughs> have been through a few wars. We have been through it all, and we are still stronger than ever because of all the support from the community. And we're international, so we're right. not only in the U.S. So we serve 122 million students, wow. and we are in 121 countries worldwide. Awesome. That yeah. is incredible. Yes, I know. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking time yet again out of your busy day to talk to us. And hopefully more schools will get involved with you guys and more students will come out and get in touch with your program. Yes, it is our dream that every school is signed up for junior achievement programming and that every student can receive our the education we provide. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you again. And thank you guys so much for tuning in.